Hi everybody, and welcome to this week's episode. We're going to be looking at the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Every Day Camera Bag and Sling. Now I have a little disclaimer for all of you. A lot of you know that Peter and I are friends. You've all heard of it. The Dope Squad. Now people probably think that the Dope Squad supports the Dope Squad, but I think how we really support the Dope Squad is by, okay, this is a lot. How you really support your friends who are artists or friends who are making things is by giving them honest feedback. And just because Peter is one of my really good friends doesn't mean that he just gets praise for all the amazing things that he's done. Just like the videos that he sends me, I give him my honest feedback to make a better video, to make a better product. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you my honest feedback on my friend Peter McKinnon's new everyday camera bag and sling. One last disclaimer, the bag that we're gonna be looking at is a prototype, so some of the things are gonna be different on the final bag, but we will get into that as we're going through the bag. Also, none of the opinions in this video are paid for. You know why? Because Peter is not the only person with products. I also have products, because this video is sponsored by me, Chris Howe, who has presets and budget templates. And if you don't wanna go and buy something, I also have free stuff. So if you head to the link in the description or thechrishowe.com, you can go and pick all that stuff up. Anyway, Let's get into it. We will look at this a little bit later. Let's start with the everyday camera bag. First things first, just branding looks awesome. Right, let's bring this guy out. Boom, right there. That's your everyday camera bag. That's looking good. First thing I noticed is that this is a really, really good size. And I think it's always important to see what the camera bag looks like actually on your back. Now, one of the reasons I wasn't a huge fan of the first Peter McKinnon camera bag was mainly because it was too big. At first glance, this feels like a really good size. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have my fiance Lizzie, who is a bit smaller than I am, and we're gonna put it on her back to see what it looks like. All right, Lizzie Pierce, here Hola. is the everyday camera bag. May I try it on? Yes, go. Let's see what it looks like on your back. Because here's the thing, the last bag I couldn't wear because it was like my entire body. I mean, I know that the other bag was made for travel, but the thing is, if I wore that going on a plane, yeah. I would certainly be told that I'd have to check that bag because it looks so big on my frame. Sweet. Oh, I appreciate your first opinions on this. Thank you. Yep. Then I can't make... I still need to make my video. Okay, one of the other things I really like about this camera bag is that it stands up on its own. Now, if you guys have watched my What's in My Camera Bag 2021, uh, you'll notice that I've been using this Low Pro bag. My biggest beef with this bag is that when I put it upright, it does this. Enough set. The other thing too is that this little water bottle container and holder just like clips on the side, whereas these little zip out kind of stretchy material here with the magnets is just like way nicer. This is really good if you have a Joby or for instance, I like using the Peak Design Travel Tripod. So that just goes right in the side. It kind of needs a little bit of strength at the top here. So I'm hoping that the final bag will either ship with some sort of like bongo tie or clip to hold this in. But if it doesn't, a little solution there, bongo ties, boom. I'm hoping Nomadic will make some sort of clips here or carabiners or something to be able to strap things to the front. Maybe you can throw a gimbal or a skateboard or something along the lines, but it's nice that they exist. I'm just hoping that those accessories will become available. One thing that you'll notice is that this bag does not have a side door access for your camera. They just took that away. And then I was thinking about it myself, even with this low pro bag that has side door access, I almost never use that. We do have a laptop sleeve. Now I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro that fits perfectly and the inside of this material here is super soft so you know that your laptop is going to be protected. You'll probably notice this little tag right down here that says wait, this pocket is not part of the final bag. Show this pocket and you'll walk the plank. Arg. You don't get to see this pocket. Now like any good modern day camera bag, I think this is a very essential part. What you have here is a suitcase sleeve so you can slide the arm of the suitcase right in there and that is nice and comfortable. And then you just got your classic Pirate Pete branding right there. Overall, the exterior of the bag looks really, really good. All right, so let's open this bag up. Now, Peter called this section here the loft area, which I think is really cool. So what I have stored in here right now is stuff that I would take for like a weekend away. Two shirts, two socks, two underwear, and if I need to, I can fit in my toiletries in here as well. So this little loft area actually fits 
quite a bit of stuff. And one of the things that I will mention is that there are gonna be some pockets that are gonna be inserted along here so that you can store you know, your passport, your wallet, some other little knickknacks. And that's because they took away this little front pocket here. All right, so we're actually gonna open up this bag right now. Now, before I fully show you, one of the things that I like is that these straps are actually connected to this piece right here. And on my old Low Pro bag, they were actually in front of the zipper. You had to move these then you had to zip it. What I like is that this is fully connected. So let's open up here. What's this? Press like if you're enjoying this review. Don't know how that got there, but um, I mean, do what the card says. And you'll see I have a lot of camera gear in here. This is not just an everyday camera bag. In my personal opinion, this could be used as a travel bag. Now my favorite part of the design of this bag is this new camera cube system. So in this instance, I have my camera set up with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens, a 50 millimeter lens, a microphone, camera strap, and a camera body. So that's like everything I would need for a day shoot for sure. And then I even have a drone kit. Now this is like extra. I don't actually bring this with me on everyday shoots. There's a lot of space in this bag. I do have two pieces of feedback when it comes to this camera cube system. Now I think there's a lot of people out there that want to customize it to their setup. And one of the things that I noticed is that with these little inserts, one side is Velcro and the other side is not. I would have just preferred if Nomadic just had little tiny inserts like this that were both kind of like felt in Velcro on both sides because when you try to insert this piece, it can't connect this side here because there's no spot for it to attach. Now, one of my pieces of feedback as a Sony shooter is that one of the go-to lenses that I use all the time is the 24 to 70 F 2.8 G Master lens. Now, if I insert this lens into this camera cube system, you can kind of see that it protrudes quite a bit there and we can't actually close the full lid or if you can, you have to kind of like push it down a lot. All right, so let's take these camera cubes out and take a look at what the rest of this bag has. Now, if you need to access that loft area, you can just flip this back and there are magnets. Oh, so satisfying. Now, one of my favorite features that I've seen on previous camera bags that was implemented on this bag was the ability to expand the loft area just by pulling this section right here. So now you can have your camera cube right down here, all your camera gear and shove more clothing, more daily things that you need right up in this area here just by pushing that down and pulling it up. That is brilliant, but I think there was definitely a missed opportunity here to have a pull tab just right at this section right here, mainly because I find this kind of an awkward process to pull this area here. But let's say you don't even want this loft area, you just wanna jam as much camera gear as you possibly can into this bag and or use it just as a backpack. You can just pop these up and boom. I think the versatility of this bag is absolutely amazing. Okay. Final thoughts on the everyday camera bag from Peter McKinnon X Nomadic. I think this bag is actually amazing. They're calling it the everyday bag, but truthfully, this is just your standard camera bag in terms of size. This is good for traveling weekends away. Um, I'm gonna be using this for my travel camera bag and my everyday camera bag. So I think they've hit it as a home run in terms of size. It looks good on my back. It's comfortable. It's weather sealed. It doesn't fall. It has an actual proper storage compartment. I love the cube system. I love the quality of the material. It is very classic Peter and McKinnon to look at all the fine details and make sure it's great. There's always room for improvement but I would say this is like 95% of the way there. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at this sling bag. Let's just open this up here. And this is the Peter McKinnon Everyday Sling Bag. This is what it looks like on the back. Now it does protrude a little bit more than I would want it to, but overall its functionality definitely trumps the protrudeness of this bag. The other thing that's nice is when you open up, it fans out and you can see everything nicely. Now, as you can see, it stores quite a bit of stuff. I got my microphone, we got a camera strap, we have a camera body with a 16-35 f2.8, we got another lens right here, we got two filters, and then you have a room for a battery, and there's a little memory card spot here at the top, and then room for another battery and or I like to carry this tool. This was a brilliant idea. So right here at the top, you can see this little pull tab system right there. What is nice is that let's say you've unzipped your bag, you grab your camera out of the bag, and you just attach that pull tab right there to that little clip go and shoot some photos. Nobody in the entire world wants to be this person after they pull out the camera. 
One second. Nobody wants to be that guy. This sling, in my opinion, is an even better design, an even better product than the everyday camera bag. My editor, Lucas, is like so jealous of this. My only last little piece of feedback is it came with this little strap here, and I just really don't fully understand. I think it's supposed to go like this so that you attach it, and then when you're biking, it's just, it just it seems kind of awkward, right? Like, am I using this wrong? Tell me if I'm using this wrong. Seems like a nipple highlight area. Don't zoom in on the nipple. All right, everybody, that was my review on the Peter and McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Camera Bag and Sling. Again, these are the prototypes, so there are going to be some changes on the final bag, but I do give my seal of approval. If you guys want to check out more about this collaboration and this camera bag, links are below for the Kickstarter. Now, in full transparency, the link below is an affiliate link, so I do get a small kickback. Again, big shout out to our sponsor, Chris Howe for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to get some free presets, links in the description as well. Uh, there's also other presets, business bundles, templates, all that stuff to help you become a better creative and make more money. So go and check out those links below for the Kickstarter and my website. And on that note, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Wait. Please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Let's see what Bear thinks about these camera bags. Cat outro, cat outro. Tell me what you think of the bags. Pick the one you like. Which one do you like? We have a winner.